So day one was interesting. Not too much, but like basically interesting. I woke up like 8.20 or something, went for a run, showered, packed all my stuff up, uh, and then realized that since Ann Arbor's in a different time zone than Chicago, I couldn't make lunch plans, and also because I had taken too long to pack everything up and I went for a run instead of just getting moving. So I had to reschedule those. I think those are happening next week. Uh, and then I drove. I talked to a cool guy at Walmart who told me what kind of charger I need to buy to actually get my phone to charge faster than the amount that it gets used with just, like, Google Maps open, which I don't know why there's a one-amp charger in a car, but I guess it's because it's from 2017, which... fucking whatever. And, uh... Yeah, I said goodbye to the house. No one was there, so, you know, it wasn't a big goodbye. Uh, I was originally planning on leaving two days ago, but my car wasn't ready until yesterday, and so I didn't get to stop by and see my sister. Uh, but I'll hang out with them on the way back. Uh, or the, the other way around when I go out west with my car, which I guess is fixed. <clears throat> so, I'm in Ann Arbor now. It was like a three and a half hour drive, it wasn't too bad. Uh, it's kind of like, I was, I was having some hard time when I was driving my car back in like city driving. I was getting like a bunch of anxiety about it, but that could also be because it was the first day that I stopped, like, that I didn't do any drugs at all. I mean, I had caffeine. No, did I have caffeine yesterday? No, I didn't. Today I had caffeine. Just a little energy drink to keep me awake and alert during my drive. I was rocking out to the Orion experience. They did Cult of Dionysus, which I think I showed all of my friends before, but, uh, like, their entire album is fucking cool. Like, I came across another one of their songs randomly from, like, Brian David Gilbert Radio on Spotify, which was Cosmic Candy Girl, and I was like, this is pretty rockin', yeah, it's about, like, you know, being yourself and not giving a shit about people judging you. I like that. Listen to the rest of their stuff. It's pretty cool. It's, like, rocky. Uh, it's, like, you know, sexy in a cool way, not in a gross way or, like, super oppressive kind of way. So, would recommend. And then I, uh... And Fish in a Birdcage is, is not as good. Like, I liked one of their songs when I only heard half of it because I was running, but the first half sucks. And there's some other songs where I'm just like, why the hell is this on the same playlist as this song is not a metaphor? It's so weird. Because, like... I don't know. I feel like Brian David Gilbert's stuff is really positive. And this stuff is like, oh, you have anxiety because you don't, like, fucking, you know, do everything perfectly every day. And it's just like, no, no one does anything, everything perfectly every day. And some of them, you know, have regular amounts of anxiety instead of clinical levels of anxiety. So, obviously, you're a fucking asshole. Uh, oh, I'm running out of space on my phone. I'm going to have to do something about that, like delete my old videos after I upload them to YouTube. Okay, easy. Um, got to Ann Arbor, met up with Nick, parked by community, like, fucking five-minute drive away from my Airbnb. I probably should have just checked in and met Nick downtown instead of going to his place. Uh, obviously, I'm in an Airbnb now. I don't know if that's obvious. It's just a white wall. Uh... I am in the Airbnb now. It's pretty cool. It's chill. It's uh, a little bit by the trains. It's, it's right by the river. It's uh, like a block away from 1205 Pontiac Trail when I used to live as a kid. Doxed. Um, anyway. So I met up with Nick downtown. Uh, we got some subs from Sword... D Dillies, Sordianos, Sord Sordillas, someplace like that. Some sub shop. Their vegetarian sub was trash. It was basically just a sub without the meat. Uh, I should have just gotten a sub with meat. I'm not even a real vegetarian. Uh, and then we went to let's see Top of the Park. Uh, it was like four, though, so there wasn't any music or any things there, but it was happening. So we went for a walk in the arm. 
And then we went, oh, where we ran into Etsy, who was doing their Shakespeare in the Park. And that was crazy. Uh, I'm going to see them later when we're all in East Lansing and they're not busy. Um, I need to make sure I hit up all of my friends who live here tonight, because I don't think everyone got the message that I'm here. Because I didn't message anyone personally, I just put a Facebook status down. Whoops. <clears throat> And then we went back to Top of the Park, got a snow cone, cotton candy. Uh, we just, like, fucking walked around a little bit more. No, we had the cotton candy at the Arb. That happened first. And then we went to that sushi place right across from the Dayak. Oh, we visited the science hallway? But they had everything, like, they had blinds down, so you couldn't actually see uh, any of the, like, holograms or the cool stuff that they have there. You could just see, like... A drinking bird that wasn't moving and uh, the like water metal thermometer uh, which was you know it told the temperature of the inside of that dark room cool uh, once I had food in front of me though I ordered like an appetizer and a dish and once the food like got in front of me I just like stopped being hungry uh, so I think all I had to, to eat today was like a couple bites of an apple a box of cherry tomatoes, which I got when I got the energy drink, because I wanted something else to eat. Uh, an eight-eaten sub, substantial, and like, a couple bites of food. Still not hungry, though. Maybe it'll kick in. Or maybe I'll just start slowly feeling weaker and weaker as I can't put food in my face. Don't know what that's about. Uh... Yeah, if I had an eating disorder, it would have just been because of my own problems and judgment. Yikes. I should probably be less judgmental of myself and also other people. Uh, yeah. And then I went, uh, we went back to Nick's place and played some video games with Q, uh, who was in California. And I saw his, uh, dad and stepmom, who both remembered me. It was great. I'm running out of time. I'm gonna go message people and upload these or something, I guess. Peace!